Hi, this is Kenny Shea speaking. Uh, in this section, we're going to talk about the Carnot cycle. The Carnot cycle uh, is a we can from the Carnot cycle we can calculate how much the in, the uh, internal combustion engine, the maximum work done by combustion engine. And the calculation we can compare with a, a fuel cell reaction, how much electricity uh, can we come out from the fuel cell reaction we talked about in previous section. Uh, for a kind of cycle, we uh, have some imaginary uh, experiment or process. The fuel coming in and uh, uh, combust inside the chamber. The ch inside the chamber, you will release huge amount of reaction heat and uh, the temperature at the TH. Because the heat will be caused the, the gas expansion and then push the piston move out, and that will be uh, the way, uh, making the mechanical work uh, to the outside environment. And then, if uh, at the end of the cycle, the half cycle, then the the next uh, half cycle, uh, if we can assume the heat, uh, the the thermal energy, the gas inside the chamber was cooled out quickly to a TC this temperature. The heat will move out from uh, so much Q out, were removed from the gas. So because the temperature cooled off, the gas will shrink and suck the, the piston uh, backward. So uh, with this uh, uh, repeat uh, cycle, will be the engine able to do the mechanical work to the outside the piston. So from the energy point of view, we the coming in is uh, how much the gas reaction heat the Q in at this temperature TH and then the work out that means you had to remove the, uh, the thermal energy so make the piston um, backward that's a Q out <coughs> at uh, TC the, the cold temperature here the difference will be the really mechanical work out uh, to the outside world so the Carnot cycle, the efficiency calculated from the Carnot cycle is uh, to equivalent to the mechanical work done by this piston action divided by the chemical energy or the reaction heat printed in by the fuel. And uh, the work out from this uh, energy balance equal to the difference between the thermal energy in and then thermal energy out, the Q in minus Q out. If we assume the, uh, if uh, all the specific heat for the inside the chamber are the same, and then the material the same. Then the only difference is the temperature here. The heat uh, is uh, at a TH, and then the Q out is a TC. So we can cancel out all this. That become we can calculate the efficiency equal to the the temperature difference between the TH and the TC. This uh, make a very a, a simple assumption because you, in reality the combustion they also had taken time and then the chemical reaction the special heat uh, might also change at a different temperature but we assume all the same we can cancel out each other. So uh, from the idea I, we assume this is uh, the gas is idea gas then the idea from the idea gas law PV equal to NRT. And at the 25 degree, the PV uh, P, uh, pressure and volume, the relationship we can plot on this diagram. And at a different temperature, say 300 degree, 600 and 1000 degree, the different uh, uh, pressure and the volume relationship. This is a molar volume. That's mean V divided by R, V divided by N uh, um, for one per mole, the molar volume here. So the piston work actually, uh, you may think is around this four point. The first is assume is at a 25 degree room temperature. When the, the chemical energy release a huge amount of heat, raise the gas temperature from 25 to 1000 degree, then move to this point. And then because the thermal and uh, heat will be caused the, the volume expansion from this point, expansion to this point. And of course, the pressure will reduce the actually doing the work to the external pist uh, mechanical work. And then, if we can uh, move the heat 
quickly remove the gas heat and could cause the cool down from 1000 degree to 25 degree if we ideally we can do that then the it will be shrink the volume will be shrink uh, and the piston move back to original position so this one the keep uh, the expansion shrinkage the keep going the, the expansion and the shrinkage the piston move out in and out in this the recycle uh, among these four point so um from the a to a to b is uh, the heat uh, released uh, uh, heat coming into the system and then from b to c is adiabatical adiabatical uh, uh, process uh, the, there's no heat in and out it's just uh, uh, volume expansion and then from c to d, d is a uh, energy output and then from d to a back is also a adiabatical uh, process uh, at a temperature tc from here we can know the kind of cycle the efficiency equal to the high temperature and then the low temperature tc over th so if the temperature difference is greater the energy conversion efficient is greater now then we can compare how is the fuser reaction and then the mechanical uh, uh, internal combustion engine the efficient difference this is the this is the efficiency calculated from uh, based on thermodynamic principle this is the efficiency of the fuel cell and this is the efficiency of, of the Carnot cycle from previous we already know this delta g or delta h is a function of temperature so we can calculate at a different temperature how the efficiency change and then for the efficiency for the Carnot cycle it depends on the tc and th we assume the cold temperature tc is at, at a 25 degree and then we can see how the temperature the th will be affected on the overall efficiency of the counter cycle this plot with uh, these two different efficiency as a function of temperature we can see from the fuel cell we assume it's a low heating value calculation and then this efficiency at um, will be decreased linear decrease as the temperature increase and then for the counter cycle and at the th this is a th temperature at the 25 degree over here uh, if a th equals 25 degree then this one is equal to 1 and the efficiency is equal to 0 as the th increase the kind of cycle efficiency increase and the gradual level out eventually go to the 1 um, you can see there's an intersection over here from the kind of cycle uh, the either prefer the heat engine operate the temperature as high as possible but from the fuel cell point of view, it should be operated at a low temperature as possible. But um, so the pen fuel cell, proton exchange membrane fuel cell, is operated somewhere around the 90, uh, 80 degrees, somewhere around this temperature here. And then for solid oxide fuel cell, it's operated at somewhere 800 degrees, somewhere here. The, so, uh, but this is only from a the thermodynamic point of view. It's do not consider the kinetic. Uh, factor though uh, so this is just give an idea case so th this one give it uh, see the internal combustion engine and the fuel cell they have different uh, um, um, characteristics in terms of uh, to the temperature so in this case uh, this section will be talk about all this our uh, next section we're going to see how based on the thermodynamics we can get all the information out give a summarize